Hello everyone, I am White Cow. Nice to meet you. Today, I will install Whisper, which is capable of transcription. Whisper is an advanced speech recognition model developed by OpenAI that can convert speech into text. The main scenarios for using Whisper will be demonstrated in a video. By installing it on your own computer, you can break free from the dependency on services that cost money. Actually, I had previously released a video, but at that time the main focus was on a composition AI, so I couldn't introduce it much. Let's get started. When checking the necessary requirements on GitHub, you need the following three things. The first is the Windows version of Git. I have introduced the installation of Git in a previous video. It is an easy process where you just need to download and double-click to install. The second requirement is a specific version of Python. Specifically, the versions range from 3.8 to 3.10, but this could change in the future. The third requirement is FFmpeg. I have also released a video on how to install this. Please watch it if you like. By installing these, you will be able to install Whisper. Launch the command prompt and create a clone. This is where the Windows version of Git is required. Move to the existing YouTube directory. In this directory, a clone will be created. Since the Windows version of Git is already installed, this command can be used. It is used to replicate a repository from GitHub onto a local machine. When you execute this command, a directory is created that includes all the files of the specified repository, along with the history of that repository. Therefore, we will move to the directory created by this command. Inside this directory, there is a batch file that can be used to install Whisper. When you look at the contents of this batch file, it creates a Python virtual environment, so it won't mess up your computer. For those who really want to understand the contents of the batch file, please refer to the explanation in the link in the description section. The details about the Python virtual environment are as shown in the video. I would also like to explain the advantages of Python's virtual environment. Now that Whisper has been installed, I will run a batch file to make it accessible through a browser. The URL to be entered in the browser has been displayed. With this, you can display the Whisper web UI screen. It worked successfully. Now, I will explain how to use it. You need to upload an audio file. The prepared audio file includes music, meaning it is a music file with an artist singing. It's the opening of a certain song. I will set the output format to SRT. I will explain this later. Since this is the first transcription, it is downloading the model file. Meanwhile, I will touch on the SRT format. The SRT file format is a very simple text-based format used for storing subtitles for movies or videos. SRT files define the subtitle text and the times they are supposed to be displayed. Once the necessary file download is complete, the transcription will begin. It is now completed. The audio has been accurately transcribed into text. It worked well even with music. The transcribed text can be saved.
Next, I will try outputting it as a regular text file. Next, I will introduce how to create subtitles after I have made a video. However, it's worth noting that many of the latest video editing software come with automatic transcription features. I forgot to mention earlier, but it seems you can choose your preferred model. Just like before, I will upload a video that I created myself. Since I was able to create an SRT file, let's launch the video editing software and try adding subtitles. The subtitles have been successfully inserted. There were hardly any typos or omissions, but now I will consider the design and placement myself. There are also other features in Whisper Web UI that I will try out. I will input the URL of a YouTube video. As soon as you do that, the thumbnail and title are immediately displayed. This video already has subtitles, so it's not necessary, but it is possible to translate them. Since the SRT file has been created, you can convert it into any language you prefer. Here, I will translate the Japanese subtitles obtained from a YouTube video into English. The first time you translate into English, it begins with downloading the model. After that, the translation process starts. How about for those who want to distribute their videos to the world? That's all for today. Thank you for watching.